Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15.4 Beta 1. As you can see, yesterday night, I have received iOS 15.4 Beta 1 update on my iPhone XR. So this is my iPhone XR and this update came in about 5.63 GB on my iPhone XR. So previously I was using iOS 15.3 RC version which was a stable version. So whenever from stable version you download or update to a beta version, it comes in in a huge size. So if you are coming from iOS 15.3 RC, you would be having the update around 5.63 gigabytes. So let me know in the comment section whether you have updated to iOS 15.4. Now this update iOS 15.4 beta 1 especially includes a lot of new features in this video we are going to take a look at that and also there are few important new features and you know bug fixes that we are also going to take a look in this video so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you are new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and general and about section. As you can see, the software version says iOS 15.4 and if you take a look at the build number, the new build number is 19E5209H. Now I had taken a screenshot yesterday night as well. Now if I could show you before updating the software version was iOS 15.3 and if we take a look at the modem firmware. So before updating the modem firmware was 4.02.02 and after updating as you can see we have a new modem firmware update at least on my iPhone XR. So the new modem firmware is 4.03.00. So if you're updating from iOS 15.3 to iOS 15.4 you will have a new modem firmware firmware update now this update is not for all the users who do not have beta profile installed come to software updates and click on automatic updates if you're still not able to see the update you know just turn this off and turn this back on and then you, if your phone should be connected to wi-fi you should be able to get this update now with that being said let's talk about what's new with this update so one of the important and new feature that apple introduced with ios 15.4 is that you know face id with mask on but you know unfortunately i would not be able to demonstrate this new feature on my iphone 10r because this you know feature is only available on the devices like iphone 12 and iphone 13 so i'm using ios 15.3 you know public stable version on my iphone 12 so once in i get ios 15.4 i will definitely show you face id with mask on feature but as of now on iphone 10r it's not available but if you're using one of the newer devices go to settings and click on in this uh, face id and passcode section put on your passcode let me put on this passcode so once you put on this passcode under this section set up an alternate appearance you should have a section where it says face unlock with face id with mask on so basically you can unlock your iphone with your mask on without the apple watch as well so if you are not having an apple watch now you can unlock your iphone with the mask on so also apple also has introduced if you are wearing a mask then also you can add your glasses if you're wearing glasses so stuff like that you can do that with ios 15.4 all right so apart from this also i have noticed few new features or changes and now i have an airpods pro over here so now if i open as you can see the animation looks a little different at least the wording looks a little different i mean it looks uh, on little bolder side so let me show you the difference here is my iphone 10r which is updated to ios 15.4 now if i could show you uh, this is you know iphone 12 which is on ios 15.3 you can see there's this a little change on the animation as well so this is what i wanted to highlight in this video so apart from that there are few changes as well if you go to the settings and one of the new changes is with the safari browser so if you click on safari and then if you come down and click on advanced option now if you click on advanced option and click on experimental features and you scroll down as you can see there is a new option added which says reset all to defaults now if i could show you on ios 15.3 this feature was not available let me go to the safari and also let me click on this advanced and then once i click on advanced and experimental features if i go down as you can see 
uh, here's the difference between iOS 15.3 and iOS 15.4 the reset all to defaults option is not there now apart from that also I could find a difference in the TV application settings now let me show you if I click on this TV application so uh, on iOS 15.4 in the device preference you have a new option which is up next display so it is can be set to still frame or poster art so on iOS 15.3 as you can see instead of three options we have uh, you know show sports scores and use play history so we do not have this up next uh, display option on iOS 15.3 so these are a couple of you know new features here and there I was able to find with iOS 15.4 but the biggest feature of iOS 15.4 is you know unlock your Apple iPhone with mask on so unfortunately you have to have iPhone 12 or newer iPhone than that in order to use that feature so once I receive iOS 14.4 update on my iPhone 12 I'll be definitely able to demonstrate that apart from that you know I have updated and there is no performance issues as such and also people were complaining regarding the storage bugs so let me click on the general and let me see whether I am facing that storage bug issue if I click on general and if I click on iPhone storage so this is the first time I am clicking on the iPhone storage after updating it to iOS 15.4 so as you can see it is taking quite a bit of time in order to display all the application that's taking up my storage space so definitely you know the storage section is little slow I have been getting feedback that there is a storage bug uh, from most of the users uh, so I hope that this issue should be resolved so apart from that you know there is no issue with the performance as such I have been using this phone with lot of iOS updates lately and also so for your reference I have run the Geekbench score so on Geekbench score it has scored around 1101 on single core and on multi core it has scored around 2630 so let me know in the comment section whether you have updated to iOS 15.4 and the scores are around the same or is it higher or lower than this and also one more important factor about the battery because a lot of people ask me about this battery so if I could just show you the battery section as you can see the maximum capacity is still 89 percent so after updating to ios 15.4 the battery health hasn't dropped and talking about the battery life as you can see you know i've just received the update so it takes a couple of days in order to verify and give you the update regarding the battery so i'm not sure how is the battery life with ios 15.4 let me know in the comment section whether you want a dedicated review on the battery life of ios 15.4 beta 1 or not apart from that ios 15.4 is an important update and also it comes with a lot of new features so if you have a newer iphone also if you're having a secondary iphone to try out the new features definitely i suggest you to install and try out the new features of ios 15.4 but if this is your primary device then I would not suggest to install iOS 15.4 since this is the first stage of the developers beta so normally the first release of the developers betas are not that uh, stable include a lot of bug fixes so if you want to update probably I'll update in my next video whether once I receive the later stages of the beta software of iOS 15.4 so then again that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because this means a lot to me and this gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys. Now with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.